Recently, I've been making a two-player co-op split-screen game in Unity, and this is how it went. First, let's go for an overview of the game. You'll have a hider and a seeker who are competing against each other to win. The hider will need to survive for two minutes to win, and the seeker will have to tag the hider three times before the two-minute mark. So here is the main menu, and there is nothing special about it, but I did try to make everything look alive. And to achieve this, I gave everything on the screen a subtle animation. And here is the level select screen. I'm going to have eight maps in total. Currently, I have four, two grassy maps and two maps set on the moon. I'm going to choose this map. And then I have the ability select screen. In this scene, both players will be able to choose their abilities with the keyboard. So the seeker uses WASD in space and the hider uses the arrow keys and enter. And then when you choose your abilities, and when both players ready up like this, so I ready up, you get a cool animation on screen. When both players ready up, it will send you into the game. Currently, there are six abilities in total, three for the hider and three for the seeker. I'm going to show you them all now. So the first one is the big tag radius. This one is pretty simple. You just have a large tag radius for the seeker. So when the hider enters this tag radius, they will be tagged. And one for the hider is this dash. So you just move really quickly once you press enter for about half a second. The next two abilities is this companion. So this companion is for the seeker and it will constantly chase down the hider like this. And once you get too near, it will tag you. The other ability for the hider is you will run faster than the seeker. It's only a very slight difference, but makes a big difference when you're running away. The next and last two abilities are the bomb and the insta-kill. So the bomb is for the seeker and the insta-kill is for the hider. The bomb is more of a tactical ability, so you can use it like this to, bl to block off and corner your opponents. And the insta-kill is for the hider, so if you're being chased by the seeker like this, you can only use it once per game though, which makes it not too powerful. But if you're being chased like this, you can press enter and the seeker will be sent to the middle of the screen. The current game status will be displayed at the top of the screen in this UI like this. When one player wins, it will play an effect on screen like this, clearly displaying who won the game. And you'll also be able to see the end stats at the top of the screen and the time up here will freeze to see what time you really ended on. And that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments if you prefer shorter or longer videos. And if you did like, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.